And a New Orleans Army lieutenant is filing a civil complaint against Harris Casino. She claims she was the victim of racial profiling. WGNO's Kenny Lopez has the allegation and what Harris is saying about it. I'm not saying that the ID. No, no, you just said that. I'm saying that I don't think that it's you. This video of a casino confrontation between 23 year old U.S. Army 2nd Lieutenant Deja Harrison and a Harrah's Casino employee has gone viral. This picture right here, you don't think that this is me. I have two IDs. This is my face. Harrison says she went to Harrah's for her stepbrother's 21st birthday on October 5th, but Harrah's didn't let her in with her military ID after her driver's license wouldn't scan. It turned into a two-hour ordeal with Harris telling Harrison they were going to call the cops. Actually, I'm a second lieutenant now. You don't believe that I'm a second lieutenant. So what's the problem? Uh, he looks at the ID um, and he like just looks at the rank and he's just like, this ID is fake. This isn't you. Um, there's no way possible that you made this rank in a short period of time. Looking like I'm like literally shocked at somebody, that somebody would say I'm lying about being in the army. I just shouldn't have been profiled. There are black women in the military that are excelling. I went as far as showing the host my military pay stub. So it was no reason why I shouldn't have gotten into the casino. Harris released this statement on Twitter about the interaction. To comply with gaming regulations, Harris New Orleans checks IDs for our guests who appear to be under 30 years old. To do so, we use an approved electronic reader similar to what you would find at an airport TSA checkpoint. Our team members are trained to evaluate identification in accordance with local regulations. In this case, Ms. Harrison, who appeared to be under 30, presented a Louisiana driver's license that did not clear our electronic verification system. When asked for an alternative form of identification, she presented a military ID card, but the information on the military ID card did not match the information she had verbally communicated to our security officers. As a result, in compliance with applicable gaming regulations, our security officers did not permit Ms. Harrison to enter the casino. Caesars Entertainment has an unwavering commitment to diversity and our military. We are saddened by this situation and will continue to evaluate our processes to ensure that we uphold both our commitment to our guests and our regulators. We have reached out to Ms. Harrison, who let us know she will be retaining legal counsel. As such, we will have no further comment. Harrison's lawyer now says that statement's not enough. There's no apology in that statement. But in Harris' statement, they seek to blame her. She just informed the manager, truthfully, that was my rank, and now I've been promoted. That's not an inconsistency, that's a clarification. Now they filed an internal civil complaint with the Department of Justice, asking for an investigation. Separately, they will be filing a civil rights lawsuit. We're seeking accountability, and there needs to be uh, some um, repercussion. He didn't even give me a shot. He didn't even scan the ID. We'll do this. We'll do no, this. What, what, I'll call what, NOPD and then you can call them. Them. call them. Please call them. Like I was upset. I was hurt. I asked Harrison's lawyer what kind of compensation they'd be seeking. He said they would leave that up to a trial jury as to what they see is fit. All right. Kenny Lopez reporting for us downtown. Keep us posted on the story. Kenny.